All right, my YouTube family, welcome back to the Gaming Brigade. And I'm sure based on the title of this video, my fellow agents, some of you out there may have thought, oh, shit. Here goes Greybeard. He's jumping ship. He's going to stop covering the division. So it's incredibly important as I start this video off, I mention the following. We are not breaking up. Everything is fine. We're good. We're solid. There's nothing to worry about. So even though you are going to be seeing me cover other games here at the channel, this is easily one of my favorite franchises of all time. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm sure you've also noticed that over the last few months, I have not been making as many videos on this game. And to be honest with you, it's simply because I'm not really playing it the way I used to with my free time. Because like many of you out there, I have a full-time job, other responsibilities as well, so when I have the luxury of having an hour here or an hour there to play a game, I want to actually feel like playing the game. You know, I want to have a goal that I want to achieve, and unfortunately, while it pains me to say this, that desire to play The Division 2 just really isn't here at the moment. Now, for those of you that may be new to the channel, one thing I've always done and will continue to do here is always let you know what's going on in the community, both the good and the bad, and I promise to do so with a very balanced mindset. Now, the reason I mention that is for me at least, it's very simple. If I'm not enjoying a game, I'm simply going to stop until I once again have the desire to play the game again, and you will never hear me bash an individual here at the channel. That is not why you're showing up. You're showing up to hear about this franchise that we obviously all love. And yes, I'm even talking to those of you out there who jump into the comment section of a video or on Twitter just to say The Division 2 is dead, clearly you just can't walk away from this franchise. So once again, to be clear, my fellow agents, I will continue to bring you these updates as often as I can in the manner in which I have in the past. That sh is never going to change. Now, with all that being said, I'd like to take a moment and talk about the state of the Division 2 in regard to the energy level of the community. And unfortunately, in my opinion, it is at an all-time low, and I say that for a multitude of reasons. So first of all, I think we can all agree with Year 6 Season 1, the gear and the exotics and things like that were a little bit underwhelming, so for a lot of players out there, you didn't really feel the need to grind for anything new. Now, secondly, that was on the heels of the announcement that the Division Heartland was canceled, and the reason that is significant to the Division too is both Heartland and Resurgence represent, you know, kind of this new energy being pumped into the franchise. And for many players out there, including myself, while we waited for next year's DLC, that was going to keep us busy during that time. Again, the cancellation absolutely sucks. Our hearts went out to everyone that worked on that game. And as far as Resurgence is concerned, I have no idea what's going on with that. Honestly, I've tested that thing so many different damn times. It seemed good to go years back. I do not know why they continue to delay it. It is a lot of fun to play. We will see what happens. But at this point, my only concern is the forward progress and stability of the Division 2, which leads us to talking about Year 6 Season 2. Now, we all know what took place. You know, a little while back, we got the announcement there were going to be seasonal characters. And as all of you know by now, that did not go over well in the community. And I think one of the main reasons for that is because it left people with many more questions than they had answers. Because at that point, we received all that information at Ubisoft Forward, but then the game went silent completely. And during that time, people were wondering what is going on. And without any direct contact from the game, the community completely and totally split in two. You had people that were open to the idea. You had other people saying, what are you doing? Like this game is six years old. You're now going to introduce seasonal characters. And because of all the backlash the game received, they put out the following statement last month on July 12th. They said, we hear you and we want to assure you that we have carefully considered your feedback after the announcement of Seasons 2.0. Now again, I'm not going to read this word for word. We have gone over it before, but I would like to point out, they say, once we have ironed out the finer details, we will return with more information, a live stream, and a PTS. Now, in my opinion, and please let me know your thoughts, I truly believe that the game needs to put together that live stream ASAP, letting people know what's going on, what the actual timeline is going to look like moving forward, and more importantly, what are we actually going to see in year six season two? Because once again, and this absolutely sucks, but the majority of the community is just thinking, you know what, I'm just going to step away until the DLC next year. That's it. No worries. I'm just going to wait until then. But what happens between now and then? Look, I don't know about you. I miss playing this game. I really want something to grind for. Like I said earlier, there is no other game like this out there. And to that point, and this is something you've heard me say multiple times over the years, the Division franchise ruined the looter shooter genre for me. And I say that because no matter what other game I play, it is not the Division. I could enjoy something, jump into it, but after two weeks, I start to think to myself, you know what, this is good, but it's, it's not the Division good, you know? 
Let me know your thoughts, my fellow agents. And as always, questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know as well, and I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Now, as I start to wrap this video up, I do want to make sure I acknowledge the fact that unfortunately for many players out there, the game has been completely and totally unplayable, especially when it comes to countdown. You try to jump in, and you are either unable to find a group, or for me yesterday, I tried to jump in, I found a group on an Xbox, everything was great, but three times in a row, every single time we got to the hunters at the end, the game completely and totally crashed and for me i'm thinking you know what that's just bad luck because one thing i've talked about here at the channel is that the game rarely crashes for me i'm an xbox series x i don't run into issues that often so i decide you know what let's try it again that was just bad luck Try it a second time, it crashes, and after it crashed the third time, I decide I don't have time for this. I need to move on to something else, and I hate when that happens, especially with a game you love playing. And for the record, I do not enjoy making news videos like this. Obviously, I want to bring you news videos, but I want to talk about things we are looking forward to seeing in the game. It's not always going to be unicorns and rainbows and all that happy shit. I mean, there's going to be stuff that goes sideways, but it really seems, especially recently. We seem to be talking about everything, but actually playing the game itself. I miss bringing you build videos, farming videos, things like that. I sincerely hope I can get back to that soon. On that note, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your incredible support of this channel. I cannot express to you how amazing it's been to create this community with you. We've built a toxic-free gaming environment, people working together, helping each other out. And for those of you out there who have reached out to me directly asking if I'm worried about the third game getting cancelled, no, I'm not. Not at all. I don't think we have anything to worry about, at least as of my recording this video. Trust me when I say if that changes, I will let you know right away. And one final reminder I'd like to pass along really quick is remember that today is the last day for the Year 6 Season 1 Summer Event, so make sure if there's anything you have not completed as yet, you get that done today, my fellow agents. Now I will leave you with some gameplay footage showing you my favorite location to hit up that loot goblin. Hope it helps you out. Thank you once again for the privilege of your time, and as I mention at the end of every one of these, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. in danger. Detected. Near my location. Guarded by hostiles. 